What if I told you that the 9 Mac from 2007 can still run amazing in 2023? Hashtag 2024. Well, you don't believe me? Let's find out. So this iMac, you might recognize it because I already put it on my channel, but in my video, it will run macOS. Now in this video, it will run Linux, my, more so exactly MX Linux. There's a version of Linux that I found that it will work perfectly with this macOS, with this iMac, I'm sorry. And it will run every single thing, graphics, Wi-Fi, sound, everything will work. Now it took me a lot of time to find a Linux distro that works perfectly with this iMac and eventually I found it. And we're going to see how this iMac performs on this computer. Now, how you can see, you can go on YouTube and you can watch a YouTube video with no problems. You don't have any lag. Today, we have foldables for everybody. We have foldables from Samsung, we have foldables from OnePlus, from Oppo, Huawei. Everybody's making foldables, but the prices are literally ridiculous. So this is why you can stream movies, something that with the original macOS you won't be able to stream. With this one, you are able to stream movies right now. You can listen to music on Spotify. You can use LibreOffice for your projects or our office work or homework, whatever you have. You can use like Microsoft Word, but LibreOffice, which is an alternative to it. You can search on the internet, everything. So doing the basic stuff on the internet works perfectly on this computer. You won't have any lag, you won't have any problems. There's literally zero reasons to complain for this computer. And if you do get sport, you know, you can literally play some games as well. As you're able to install Steam on it, you can then activate Steam Proton to work on Linux. And you can play some Steam games. Now, don't get me wrong, not all games they will play. You will have a lot of problems finding games that you will play for, for this computer. But if you go for like really low-end graphic games, then your game will be able to play perfectly. Now, why would you need a computer so old? Well, for two reasons. One, maybe you just need a computer in the house, some spare things to go on the internet and or give it to the kids or stuff like that. Or second, you just need a computer for basic stuff and you don't want to spend $100 or more for a computer. So like this, if you're buying an iMac, then install Linux on it, you will be able to do the basic stuff. Now, everybody will say, you know, Linux, it's hard to use. I won't be able to do it and stuff like that. Linux is actually very easy to use at the moment because you have like an app store, let's call it like this, where you have all your applications there and then you'll be able to install all, all your application from one app store or how you wanna call it, marketplace, whatever you wanna call it. So it's literally just click and install, select the app, install, select the app, install. So you'll be able to use Linux as a normal desktop environment, how you will use a macOS, how you will use a Windows computer, is not too different. Now, a lot of people ask me, why do I do just install Windows on it? Well, for one main reason, Windows doesn't boot on this computer. The only way you can boot Windows on it is you can install a Windows 7 using a CD. So you need a CD-ROM to insert it in the computer. If you try to boot Windows from a USB, then for some reason it won't boot. You will need to change the processor. And this one has the original processor inside of it. I didn't change nothing. I didn't upgrade nothing. I wanted to take it, the base model, and just try to see what I can do with it. $20 I pay for it. And for $20, I can do most of the things that I can do with a laptop for $200. So if you were ask me, will I buy this computer? I, I will personally say no, because I do have stronger computer in the house, but I already have a place for this computer right now, which is behind me. That's why I'm looking behind. I already have a place for it. I will put it in a garden and I will make like a shelter for it nicely. And I will use it as a big screen, right? Cause it, it is 24 inch. I will use it as a big screen for having a movie there or listening to some music while I'm relaxing in the morning, while I'm drinking my coffee and it will be a perfect fit for something like this now you can do something else you can transform it into a monitor if you want to or you can use it as a computer but i will tell you like this they have good speakers it's a beautiful screen for the age you know you will not regret it and for 20 dollars this computer is worth every single penny that i pay for you know and not to say i pay 20 dollars not even i didn't even pay for shipping so 20 dollars 
So yeah, it's a short video, but I just want to tell you guys that this computer still has a life in it. Just install MX Linux, I will leave the link in the description, and then you will be able to use this computer like a modern computer. A little bit slow, but like a modern computer, and every single thing will work. On the original Mac OS, things like Netflix, Spotify, they don't work anymore. On this one, you're up to date with all the programs, you're up to date with everything, you will be able to run every single streaming platform that you want. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys, and I will see you guys next one.